Welcome, welcome, friends. If you're new here, hello, my name is Breezy. We do JRPG Let's Plays on this YouTube channel, and today we are going to be starting Chrono Cross Radical Dreamers Edition. I only kind of know what that means from a two second Google search right before recording this, um, but today we're going to be starting and getting into Chrono Cross. And this is about a year after my first playthrough of Chrono Trigger. Um, if you happen to miss that or you want to pick that up first before getting into Chrono Cross, I'll be sure to link it in the description and somewhere on the screen here. Um, but I am very excited to get back into this world and kind of see how this even intertwines with um, Chrono Trigger. I honestly have no idea of how the gameplay will change and you know what is going to be updated between this and the original Chrono Trigger and like looking at this cast here in front of me I'm like I don't see anyone <laughs> that I recognize and so like th like there's a candle back there throwing up a peace sign and like some Digimon looking feller uh and so I truly have no idea what this is all about to kind of lead into but I'm very excited I only recently heard that there is a huge cast in Chrono Cross and there's some intricacies where you can miss some of the characters and that sounds very tedious but tell me why that actually made me want to play it more <laughs> um I'm so I'm hoping that this is going to be something where like it's just lives up to Chrono Trigger or even that like or even just like improves upon it at least in my experience, I've heard more about Chrono Trigger versus Chrono Cross, but I think uh, there's a lot more people who have more of affinity for Chrono Cross. I'm sure that just kind of varies person to person, and it kind of depends on what order you play them in as well. But either way, I'm very excited to play these games since they are such a integral part of the JRPG genre, and it, they just kind of seem like a, a like a must play. So I'm excited that now I can go in and experience this for the very first time and hopefully share this experience with a lot of people who are looking to see that again or like experience that through someone else um, for the first time also. And if you want to make sure that you're following along every time the video is uploaded, be sure to go ahead and subscribe. And also I'll include the playlist link in the description down below so that you'll be able to see those videos in order and see which one's going to be the most recent. Be sure to stay up to date with that. Whatever, whatever. These are hard, okay? <laughs> These are hard, so I'm just gonna get into the game and we're going to do our first ever playthrough of Chrono Cross. And I can't wait for all the music. I had to add that in there. <clears throat> I am already shook by this animation. Are we not in pixel land anymore? What was the start of all of this? When did the cogs of fate begin to turn? Perhaps is it impossible to grasp that answer now, from deep within the flow of time? Oh, I wonder if this is like the perspective of someone that we've already met before. Oh, this music is so peaceful. But, for a certainty, back then, we loved so many, yet hated so much. We hurt others and were hurt ourselves. Yet even then, we ran like the wind, whilst our laughter echoed under the cerulean skies. Oh god, we're not in pixel land anymore! We're polygons! <laughs> Hello? Okay! No way. Oh my god, he's pretty. Hello? <laughs> Cute! Oh, the soundtrack is crazy. There's no way the gameplay looks like this. <laughs> Am I getting ahead of myself? Oh, a romance? I don't know why I assumed that they literally just ran into each other. <laughs> hey, that's how the romance started in Chrono Trigger. Oh my god, all these like species going on right now. Are you... Oh, oh, hold on. I shouldn't know you. <gasps> Wait, the necklace? Is this important? Wow, who are all these people? Oh, whoa. <laughs> That's a lot of hair for a baby. <laughs> oh 
my god. Oh, there's so many people in this. That's so wild to me. Oh! Wait, this is cute. And again, it's so peaceful. Okay, I kind of just want to sit on the screen for a minute. This is wild. Yeah, so I was wondering if I'd be able to get any grasp of what kind of story was going on for Chrono Cross, but <laughs> that told me nothing, which I'm totally okay with. But yeah, I thought it would help a little. Okay, let's get right into it then. Uh, so they focus on this necklace, and I was like, it's kind of hard to say if this is like supposed to be Shala's amulet or something. I'm pretty sure that Shala is supposed to be in Chrono Cross, or there's only like one crossover maybe? At least from her. And I was wondering if it had to do with the amulet, the necklace. If, you know, there's... They did say something about the flow of time. Is there going to be more time travel involved? <gasps> oh my god. I Not me being jump scared by the... <laughs> by the controls. Oh, no random battles? Okay. Battle boost. There's a lot here. Um, I learn by doing, not by reading. <laughs> if you've ever been here before. Surge. I guess I can't name you Chrono, huh? I wonder if this will be like Chrono Trigger, where I can change every person's name. Um, I'm gonna name you Worm. <laughs> Just W-R-M. Good old Worm. Worm is very cute, though. As the character. Uh, delete this one. There you go. Or I can name him Wormy. Wormay? Alright, let's go Worm. Your adventure awaits. I'm like staring so intently for all references galore if they exist. These cutscenes are crazy. I'm already shook at this. <gasps> Polygons! Oh my god, look at me! Look at us! What is it, Worm? You look troubled. This is it. There's no turning back now. Oi! Come on, Worm! Doc! Just you wait, Lynx. Today we're gonna be the day of reckoning. Say your prayers. Not it'll do you any good. <laughs> Worm. Get over the, their design right now. Oh! Okay, here's me running. We really just got right into this. We're day of reckoning? Oh god. I could hear him from all the way over here! I am not ready for that. I was out this perspective. Can I fight you? Oh, I yeah, I think that's what he wants with me, actually. Oh my god, look at me. Oh, and no ATB? Interesting. Uh, what? I can hit twice? And it's a 79% success rate? I'll take those odds. Oh. No. Hmm. <laughs> This is when they had booklets, um, you know, back in the day that came with the game. And then you could study. You could study how things went beforehand. Okay. 75. Maybe that's a strength level. I'm overwhelmed. <laughs> battle music and it's so lovely oh if you're gonna reuse some of the music from Chrono Trigger I'll cry oh I need to run okay I, I can I fight this thing he's chunky hello sir I'm wondering if that was like an ambush on him 
Okay, let's... Uh... This, this... Maybe I'm trying to add up to five. Is this a math equation? Two plus three equals miss. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, maybe five is my level. Hmm. Okay, okay. Here, do one. And another one. Girl, you're only hitting 12? Oh. Interesting. I cannot believe I have no idea what's going on. Oh, what are you throwing? <gasps> Oh, that's sick! Look at his tattoo, too! Doc was kind of giving me shaggy vibes for a second, but... Perhaps... Perhaps he's more of a... A Velma than I thought. <laughs> Surely we'll add a dog later and that'll be Scooby-Doo, right? Remaining power and elements from this battle for healing? Oh, cool. I don't think we need that right now. Do not heal. What was it about like early games that were truly just like, mm, figure it out, <laughs> run around, you'll get somewhere. No need for a map. This perspective change is cool though. Let's go this way. I kind of feel like I just need a U-turn a little bit, but that's okay. Hey, bat! Whoa! What? <laughs> oh! I can choose who goes first? There's no, like, speed involved? Okay, let's figure this out, Doc. Nice. Maybe? I don't know. Bad, maybe? Doc, you're kind of cracked! Wait, is Doc using his health? <gasps> Doc is using his health to attack. What is element? All enemies. Single enemy. Whoa, he has so much... No, Doc is not staying with me. Doc is a carry. <laughs> okay, do you want to cure yourself? Oh. His bar turned red. The amount of confusion that's happening right now is is unheard of. <laughs> yeah, what if I open the wrong game? <laughs> what if this isn't Chrono Cross at all? Uh, okay, so now Doc has the same HP. Was that not his health I was looking at on the other screen? Okay. Without using consumables. Elements used. So this is Doc's element. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This is so funny. <laughs> this is so silly and goofy. Look, the music is so intense and I'm just over here like, mm. <laughs> The world might end in the next like 40 seconds and I'm just like, uh, am I killing myself on accident? <laughs> am I taking my own health? Y'all help, I need the booklet. I need the in... In CD case booklet. Oh, what's that symbol above this door? <laughs> okay. Worm. Good. Yes. Fantastic. I think. <laughs> uh, okay. I'm leaving. The thing is still lit up. So maybe we're. What was outside? Those like a, uh, those dragon statues. Maybe we're. Oh wait, one, two, three, four, five, six. Maybe I have to do six of those things. Wait, no, 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 this, is, this wasn't lit up before. Okay, so this is, this is, this is the objective. 
That's another thing with older games, y'all. There's no, there's no objective. Okay. <gasps> Wait, am I supposed to be... Come on, Doc. You were doing so well before. We'll see your elements. Dash and slash. Sure. On this guy. Oh. Okay, so that's not your health? That I'm looking at? Oh my god, the health is in numbers? And then the, M the mana is in... The mana is in the bar? That's so confusing. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Hurls a sphere of flames at an enemy. Fireball. Uh, the little spiders that's just crawling around is so silly. Okay, so our health is still okay, minus kids. I don't- I'm, I'll keep it off. Because I'm using my magic to do that? Okay, what do you do to me? The way I was counting, counting those little circles. I'm like, this is a counting game. You know, you get two throws, you get two circles, six circles, six dragons. Oi, what the bloody hell just happened? What are we doing here? Wow, Bucker, we're so high up. Is this thing floating? Did it feel like your body passed through the floor just now? This sure is some fort. Uh, Worm? Hmm? You alright, mate? I've been acting- you've been acting all weird. We don't know what's up ahead, so just stay on your toes, huh? I guess I have to give you an accent, because you're forcing me to talk with an accent with her. <laughs> These characters are so cute. And again, like, the jump from Chrono Trigger to this is just, is truly shocking. And it's only been a year for me. Oh, uh... Oh, um... <gasps> What do you mean? What do you... <laughs> we did... Hello? I th we just got here. A worm. Good morning, worm. Come on, sleepyhead. Get up. Come on, murderhead. Get up. <laughs> Whoa. What is looking at me right now? Are those masks? Those are horrifying. Worm. God, the 90s loved putting you on a random island. <laughs> Waking you up on a random island to live your life. This is so peaceful. It's almost like we uh, didn't just have a premonition of stabbing people. And enjoying it. Gotta add that little disclaimer. He liked it. Oh. Good morning, worm. You're finally up. The sun's already reached high noon. By the way, didn't you have plans to meet with Lena this morning? Lena came by to see if you were up, but you, young man, you were still off in Neverland. You shouldn't break promises like that. Girls can be pretty scary if you make them angry. Oh, this cat is... Are, are you petting me? No, the other way around. I pet you. 
excuse me, Marge. Why aren't you supposed to- oh. Uh, you wouldn't want that, right? That would be bad. Then get your priorities straight and let her know how you feel. Understand? Tomorrow's a new day. Who knows what will happen? Lena? Hello, kitty. <gasps> oh, okay. I'm obsessed with the atmosphere right now. Oh, you kind of look like a dragon. <laughs> What the heck is going on? This is amazing. It's so vibrant too. The colors are insane. Hello, little kid. Hey, Wormy. Do you know what's popular among the village girls these days? A necklace made from Komodo dragon scales. You know, those monsters that eat fire. I want to get some for Kiki, but there's no way I could beat those monsters. Oh no, I don't know uh, if I don't do something now, Kiki might start liking Lolo. Boy, am I in a fix. Komodo dragons. Hi. Are you... What's in your bag, ma'am? Is it Does it happen to be Komodo dragon scales? Yo, where are me? I heard that you totally blew off Lena this morning. I didn't think you had it in you. That was real gutsy of you. I guess that kind of shows her who's boss, huh? Don't tell her I said so, but my sister's a bit too quick to lash out. Could you, like, make her be a little nicer to me? You have my support all the way. I'll keep my fingers crossed for you. Oh. What am I gonna do? Oh, I just opened two text blocks at the same time? Hello. Oh, my depth perception is way off. You're way further, and also way tinier than I was expecting. <laughs> The spear's up ahead. Listen, don't be messing with those boats. I'm sure you understand. A boat is like a limb to our fishermen. Pull any stunts like last time and I'll whack you in the head. Not if I'm all the way over here, ma'am. Hello, sir. Well now, you're in an Arnie. What brings you here to this quiet seaside village? Oh, it's you, Worm. Just don't be going near Hydra Marshes to the east if you go outside. Don't want you to run into those evil dwarves in that Hydra now. Oh, I'm sure I will never see them, ever. Why don't you go talk to the village chief before you set out? His house is just past those gates down yonder. I'm sure we will never be going to the east of this marsh and seeing any Hydras. Of course not. There's so many people! What is this worm thing? Is this for consuming? What is this thing? Are you for consuming? Hey. Oh god. <laughs> I think he's protesting being dinner. Maybe lunch. Oh, wait, she kind of looks like the one of the intro girls. Humina, Humina, Humina. She sure is pretty. What a knockout that dancer Miki is. The port town Termina is just share of dancers, but no one, I say no one compares to Miki. But mind you, I've never actually seen Miki dance. Oh, how I would love to see them jiggle. I'm talking about her arms, of course. <laughs> That's not any better. Whoa, Worm, don't tell Grandma about this. So when he said Humina Humina, I thought that was the dancer's name. <laughs> but I think it's more like Humina Humina. <laughs> okay, bye, creepy old man. <laughs> oh god, bo bo body proportions on that chef go crazy. Hello? From the front, he makes more sense. From the back, I was confused. Hi. Well, hello, Worm. Don't you want to hear the real truth about the world? Insanity leads to chaos, then to solitude. The fruitless effort of adding meaning to what is meaningless. A lone crimson tear falls to the sea. The echo of the remaining star cries out in the infinite vacuum. The least I can do is send out my distant prayers over the wind of time setting sails on dreams. Well, how do you like it, Worm? Were you moved? I've been dreaming about becoming a poet since I was little. I went across the continent to make my name for myself with just pencil and paper. But look at me. I'm in this puny village in the middle of nowhere, waitressing this rundown shack. What you say about my restaurant? You could quit any time, you know. Yikes! Just kidding, I was just kidding. I was just saying how good the work environment is. <laughs> Wait, come here. Talk to me, sir. Tasty cha-cha, healthy cha-cha-cha, why don't you try the Hakran soup? <laughs> That's my specialty, soup made exclusively from Hakran bones. Don't you 
I mean, don't mean to brag, but nobody can make soup like I can. Cha cha cha. The dialogue is going crazy. Oh, look at this little. Oh, I thought it was a window. <gasps> Hi, another one. Oh, we can pet him. Oh, never mind. Or I just pulled the bones right out of his body. <laughs> Are these Hecarins? Is that why I said he was dinner? I wasn't wrong. Are these supposed to be cute? <laughs> these things are kind of vile. Like, he has a pig nose. He's kind of got like a rat tail going on. He's following me though, so that's, that's loyal. Okay, he stayed in his room. Hey there. Yo, Worm, have you heard anything about the group of thieves up on the mainland? I haven't. You really have been, been keeping up, have you? It's pretty big news, even in El Nido. Those mysterious thieves have broken up a bunch of houses up on the mainland. They're cold-blooded bastards. They'll go to any extreme to get money or jewels. Even the powerful nation of poor can't seem to get a hold of them. I think they call themselves the Radical Dreamers. Wouldn't want to run into those bandits. Oh, interesting. I think you're just misunderstood, misled even. Looks like the Viper Festival will be cancelled again this year. Our only celebration of El Nido Archipegia will it down the drain. There hasn't been anything good to talk about since the army of poor took over the islands three years ago. We wouldn't have to put up with the situation if General Viper and the Dragoons were still here. Poor? Poor sounds familiar. Okay, I can't talk to the chef guy as much as I'd like to so much exploring to do already. We just got here. Hello. Why, hello there, worm. Can I interest you in something? I've got some great elements. Would you like to take a look? Oh. I could buy elements? Interesting. Level 1 plus 7. Okay. I'm really gonna have to do some research on how the system works. In the meantime, I'm sure just guessing <laughs> will work for now. What the heck is this a catch? Wormy, check out this sawfish. Awesome, ain't it? Poppy caught it down the south by the El Nido Triangle. Nobody likes going down there though. They all say it's creepy, but this sucker sure looks tasty. How did you bring this all the way up here? It's huge. Hello, worm. Beautiful day, isn't it? Sure feels great outside. Oh, just being able to bask in the sun all day sure is a nice change. They say the rain cleanses one's spirit, but our age, we've had enough cleansing. <laughs> yes, I know. I wonder if those outsiders are back digging up now that the rain's let up. They must be conducting some kind of investigation up there in Fossil Valley. I can't comprehend outsiders. Why would they want to dig up a place like that? I feel like I should move on with my life, but there's just too much you put in front of me. They said something about going to see the Elder? Is this the Yonder house? Oh, this is the one I came from. So maybe it's this one? Ooh, whoa! Are there people in the distance? How does that work? Hi! I like your bucket hat. Good morning, worm. Don't tell me you just woke up. Don't you know that the early bird gets the worm? <laughs> It's the me? Lena's over there on the pier. Looks like her mother asked her to babysit. Oh, okay. That's what I'm looking at. Lena's long red hair, maybe? <laughs> oh! I, I, Lena, you're a terrible babysitter! Go ahead and get him! <laughs> She's like, I'm watching him, ain't I? Yo, look at them swim! <gasps> Why is that so fun? Oh, Hello, sir. Mm -hmm. uh. Oh, it's you, Worm. Beautiful day, huh? You caught me dozing off there. By the way, Worm, do you like the sea? Yeah, I, I better. I live next to it. Oh, really? Yeah, the sea sure is great, but just remember, Worm, you don't take it too lightly. Usually you'll find the sea to be vast, deep, full of strength and energy, yet kind and gentle. But once it becomes angry, it can turn into the most frightening monster you've ever seen, engulfing everything. 
Close your eyes and pick up your e perk up your ears. Can you hear the cries of countless men swallowed by the sea? The hidden secret of sea whispers? I recommend you learn the sense and mood of the sea. Uh, if That's if you don't want to join the fellows already on the bottom. Okay. Yeah, good morning to you too, man. <laughs> Sir. Hi. <gasps> Look at her. She's so cute. Oh, she's gonna yell at me. You're late, worm. Sleeping in as usual, I suppose. You promised you'd go to some Komodo dragon scales for my necklace, remember? Since you were late, my mom asked me to babysit the kids. Woohoo, wormy, Lena, look at me! That kid is far out. Lena, please do something about this. Come on, you guys, or come on, you guys, join us. It feels really good. Unlike the rest of you, we're not here to play. Don't swim far too far out now. Okay, gotcha. That kid is in another dimension by now, Lena. Kids sure have it easy. Remember when we were like that? Not a single care or worry on our minds. How each day lasted an eternity filled with newness, fun, and excitement. But the important thing now is not our childhood, but the Komodo scaled necklace. Yes, we have to face the reality to live up each day anew. So I want you to go to Lizard Rock and get some scales for me. I would join you, but I still have to watch the kids. It's your fault. You were late. Once you've collected some Komodo dragon scales, I'll catch up with you on Opasa Beach. Is it okay with you? Sure. Good. That's what I wanted to hear. Okay then. Don't just stand around. Go collect some scales at Lizard Rock. Let's see. I think three should be enough. Good luck, Worm. I'm counting on you. Can't remember how many the kid wanted, but I guess I'll just get six for good measure. Also, I would like to jump in. <laughs> I guess not. This is my punishment. I'm now just wondering, will there be a tutorial <laughs> when I go fight these Komodo dragons? I'm assuming that I have to fight them. Ooh! Whoa, look at this thing! G come here! You look like a corn on the cob! Where me? Don't be mean to my Selene! Are you Kiki? Oh god. No. I'm also very curious of the people who have portraits and those who don't. Hello there, Worm. Word has it that Komodo dragon scales are quite popular among the young'uns these days. So you're collecting them too, huh? What, to make a silly little necklace? That's right. <laughs> well said, Worm. You truly are a man of the sea. They don't call me Komodo dragon expert for nothing. Let me give you some pointers. Clean out your ears and listen well, Worm. This is truly top secret. Super duper secret number one. Rock and roll to trap the sucker. Use the lay of the land and make a surprise attack. There's always one that likes to play tag. Run with all your might. Beware, Komodo dragons are mighty cautious and run at high speeds. You must face them with your wits, courage, and tenacity. Use your lightning start and run like the wind. Whip past them with all your might. Actually, I guess there's no point overtaking them. Anyhow, it's all about guts, my boy. So once you catch up to one, you must fight. Kick that little sucker's butt. But don't let them... But don't get your own butt kicked. <laughs> That's all I can teach you about the ways of an expert. Now go. for Go for the gold and bring forth the bride of tomorrow. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, excuse me. Celine. Celine the corn on the cob. Very cute. She also seemed like your... Lean's... Wait, Lena? Lena's. Lena's siblings? Yo, Worm, what do you think of this sawfish? Have you ever seen one this size? This has got to be from the legendary Dragon King Palace. Would you agree? You're probably right. I think so too. I knew it. I just knew it. It really is true. Then from here on out, happiness will be rolling into my life. Business will pick up, money will start pouring in, and I'll be able to repair my roof, varnish my boat, and buy a new sail. Eat as much squid gut pasta I want in Termina. Ah, oh, life is good. Yeah, right, who am I kidding? That would definitely be too good to be true. But thanks anyway, Worm. Hm, thanks for playing along. Here's a little something for you. Give it to a girl you like. Whoa! One scale! I wish the legend was true, though. The Dragon King Palace? There aren't enough dreams out here lately. I like that I can see the lady walking around in her window, too. That's so, like... I don't know, just tiny details? And this... I'm just very excited to see the rest of the world if this is... 
if this is just a even a sample of what we're about to see. And I can save him anywhere it seems. No, <laughs> absolutely not. We'll see what happens. All right, maybe we'll go this way first. Ooh. I just disappear. <laughs> oh, I'm in the trees. That's funny. Okay, so there's Lizard Rock. Cape Howell. We'll run around and see. Fossil Valley. Ooh. Wait. Okay, so this is where we were in the beginning of the game. Up there. I thought that was going to be like way, way down the line. The Hydra Marshes. Okay, this is where they told me not to go. But yeah, I assumed we were getting a a sneak peek of what happens like end end game. So interesting that it might be a little sooner than we think. Oh. Oh. Just let myself in. There's no way you're a Komodo dragon. A beach beach bum. <laughs> oh, the weapon changed too. Ooh, okay, strings go off. This music is so fun. I assume percent was accuracy, but maybe it's power? I won't need a heal yet. Oh, I found humor? The music here is good too. Fireball. So that's an element I think I can give myself. Or maybe he's not available to use it. Items. Ooh, scale. Time shifter. Controls the flow of time, fast forward or slow motion. Whoa. I feel like I shouldn't have seen that yet. <laughs> we shall see. Oh. Oh, look at me run. Are you- are you a Komodo dragon? There's no way. He ran. That is not what I expected them to look like. Okay, that's a beach bum thing. Oh wait, is that a chest down there? Okay, I need to figure out first how to get a singular Komodo dragon. And then I can worry about the the bums in the chests. Corn! Okay, I cannot do fast forward because I can't even see how fast I'm going. Oh no. Okay, since they're running away from me, I'm assuming this is what I'm going after. <gasps> I dropped. Okay, he said I can I definitely should sneak up on them. Trying to figure out what the bars on the left were doing as I was swinging around. Ooh, cute little shot. 
Okay, no healing yet. I cannot um, jump from the sky and attack a Komodo dragon. <laughs> Maybe, we'll see. Oh, I can! Wait, what did it say? Oh god, he's running. Oh no, I had the right idea, I feel like. Okay, I'm gonna go back up there and try again. Can I get this guy? Ooh. Oh, I can use items this way. <gasps> I can block that off? Question mark? This is crazy. What is happening? Wait, what is this? Hmm. At some point it said some how to get off. Oh, I did it! <gasps> Let's go! I don't know what I pressed. <laughs> Two? Sand Square. Komodo Pop! Uh oh, I'm kinda scared of fighting three of them. Hopefully he doesn't run away. Oh, wait, wait, what are you doing? Okay. <laughs> he inched up and slowly approached me and I got so scared. Okay, so we already have one scale. I can't remember how many the kid wanted. Uh, yeah, let's heal. Wait! Fangs and bones? Okay. He stored it away safely. So we got one. We got two now. Let me move that scale over there and try to get that other one. This way? Oh, maybe. I think I can jump off that other one, too. Oh, wait, maybe I can cut through. Get him! Dang it. How do I move you? All right, nerd, I'm coming for you. Let me see if I can get one this way, too. Well, I don't know if that works, actually, because now he just runs off in the into the woods anyways. Oh, wait. Mm. Okay. Do this. And then close it. There's, got, there, there's something here, right? Like this. <laughs> This seems correct. No, because then he just runs off into the woods again. What if I cut him off? Like this. Now where will you go? Now who will you run to? To me! Got him! Two! Oh, I think I'll still only get one. One silly little scale though. Oh jeez. Uh, tablet. I don't know why it was yellow, but I clicked it. <laughs> Are you gonna kill me? Oh god. I cannot believe the health is written in numbers. I need visuals, please. Numbers are not visuals. Uh oh. That looks powerful. Oh god. Don't miss, please. Oh my god, okay. We gotta heal. <laughs> oh, he's tired. 
Maybe I should get that kid's uh, scales later. Okay, let me do healing. We're at full health after that. That's good. Do we think I can farm this one, maybe? There are chests and stuff here, though, so maybe I should wander a bit. Oh! Uh-oh. I'm going this way! Hey, sir. I don't know how aggro they'll be in trying to catch me. This a hit percent. And then... I'm, I'm bound and determined to figure this out without any assistance. <laughs> which is not the way to go. But this doesn't seem wrong. Like, it's, it's killing things. At least I haven't died. Okay. So that was the hit every high percentage number strat. Um, not bad. Would, would do that again. I'm not gonna heal. Wait, scale? Like another scale? But we're not gonna brag about it this time? It's kinda nice. Let me see. If that was different or not. Okay, so those are key items. So I think that is different. Oh my god, Worm is so cute! <laughs> I'm kind of obsessed with him. That looks like something I can roll too. But I already got the... the dragon on this side. Are there more? I think maybe it's time for me to head back because I got the three. I have to return for the next ones for the other kid. Oh, nope. There he goes. After him! Go, 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 go! Get him! So this was my tag one, I guess. If possible, I will try to get three more. For that kid. Oh my god, I, I looked at my health and I got stressed! So, okay, I think the strength... is... Oh! <gasps> what are you?! Oh my god, Mama Komodo, help! <laughs> I don't know! She's pissed! In a single round, I can use up this blue bar, I think, my, my mana. And then... But then this is associated with the strength. One, two, and three. Or maybe number of times I've hit. So if I hit, this is just me guessing. If I hit three times, it's not likely that I'll hit all of them. And it stops if I hit, if I miss. Hmm. Down? Sorry, I was doing I was doing long division. I did not <laughs> I wasn't paying attention to the battle. Ooh! A growth level. Ooh. And a little bit of a remix. Let's go. I will heal. How do I get down to the water level? Wait too long, Worm. I've been here forever. Oh my god, I was so impatient, actually. Well, how'd it go? Did you get the Komodo dragon scales? Oh, they're beautiful! I'll be able to make a great necklace with these. 
Thank you, Worm. It sure has been a long time since we last came here. We used to come so often. Oh. Oh. The reminiscent music. The scene never changes, does it? It's been rolling in and out like this since long before we were born. It's been here for an eternity, it seems. It's probably seen many things, heard many things. They'll probably keep rolling in and out, in and out, long after our lifetime, without a single change. Hey, Worm, remember that time we sat and talked like this back when we were kids? With the gentle sea breeze and the tranquil sound of the waves? Just the two of us, talking? Do you still remember that day? I'm gonna lie. <laughs> <laughs> really? You do? So you haven't forgotten about the promise we made that day? Oh my god, there's always a promise. <laughs> that makes me happy. But aren't memories strange? Just when you think that you've forgotten about something, it comes floating back into your heart. I guess it's just lying there and wait, waiting for the right moment. Why, we might even remember this very moment someday. In 10, 20 years, when we're all grown up and married, we'll have our own kids. When that time comes, I wonder what kind of d adults we'll be. What kind of life will I be leading? I wonder what I'll make of this day. We'll never forget this day. Yeah, I hope you're right. Oh, Worm. There's been something I've been wanting to... Oh. Oh. Was there another voice in my head? Worm. What? What's wrong, Worm? Oh no. Worm? Oh no, Kiki's falling in love with Lolo, isn't he? Isn't she? <laughs> You're about to yank me from this island! <laughs> what? Is this laughter or- <gasps> Oh my god, you gotta go, you gotta move. What about her? <gasps> Face planted. Where did she go? What are you doing there, boy? It's dangerous to sleep out here. You alright, boy? Why on earth are you lying down? Why on earth are you lying down anyway? For a second there, I thought you might have been a dead body washed ashore. Where did she go? Huh? Where's Lena? You were the only one I saw when I got here. Are you a friend of Lena's? I believe she's in the village babysitting. Well, I best be on my way. Anyway, if you're looking for Lena, you should stop by the village. You know, you shouldn't be playing out here, boy. Wouldn't want anything to happen to you now. Is she? Is she there? Okay. Where am I going? Oh, and then I have to use this passageway again. Oh my god, fish! There's so many of them. Okay, I still don't know how to get down to that water though. Should I jump in line? Oh god! Help! <laughs> okay, I don't think it counts as an ambush yet.
Oh, okay. That seemed that seemed correct, whatever I just did. Hmm, see and I thought that once I used up the the numbers of my MP, then it was going to um Oh god! Okay, I can't outrun these things. <laughs> then I thought that's when my tent turn ended, but I guess not. But definitely I think yellow means it's a killing blow. Wait, nope, he died anyways. This is so silly. <laughs> it's so silly that I have no idea what's going on with this. Oh my god, he still got me! I think I need to turn off the, the speed function. I wonder when and how a candle will come into play here. Slash, considering there's so many people that is... we're going to be acquainted with, like how bulky is Chrono Cross about to be? Mostly, I feel like I'm a little worried about how stingy I should be with the health. Okay, I need to see what's going on with Lena. Oh! You came to me! Come here! Lena would have wanted me to fight this Komodo dragon, in my opinion. No idea. <laughs> that time I was like, wait, no, this is what it means. Look at that eventually. Okay, so maybe if I just get one more, we'll have enough for the kid. There! Oh, okay. So now we're just finding them easy. I also can't use an element right away, which I find interesting. I'm kind of sad the Komodo dragon look like this. because we're about to go back to the village now after this chest. Why didn't I open this the first time? Ooh, okay. So... This is how we equip things. And that's considered an, a, a, a helmet. Ooh, that was hard to say. Ooh, forging equipment. Okay, that's cool. You'll find love. Here you go. Hey, hey stranger! Do you know what's popular among the village girls these days? I wanna get- What? 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 A rainbow shell? You have to be super lucky to find one? If I don't do something about this, Kiki will fall for Lolo for sure? Huh? I thought he wanted a Komodo scale. Maybe I'm misremembering. The Komodo scales kind of do be looking like, uh, rainbows. Oh, I didn't go this way the first time. Hi. Hi. Ten years ago, my husband lost- friend lost a son. The boy drowned at sea at the tender age of seven, and soon after, the boy's parents passed away too. Such a sad turn of events, and that's when my husband changed. Never did I imagine he would end up like this. His way of life has changed completely. Like what? Daddy always spends his time downstairs. He won't play with me, and he gets real mad if I go down there too. He didn't used to be like that. 
And I think he doesn't like me anymore. Oh, Is that why you have Celine? Whoa. Oh. <gasps> oh. Oh. Wait! <gasps> Candleman! Huh? Huh? <gasps> oh, hello there. I just finished praying. Here, take a look. It's called Mojo. It's good luck for a charm from the Far East. Can you feel the love and affection oozing from it? Such an amazing messenger of love and courage. Think about it, my brother. How our everyday lives are controlled by uncertainty and fear. Our spent yesterdays and our certain tomorrows. How we live a meaningless life today. This holy item filled with prayers protects and supports us. Come, my brother. Let us pray together and bring peace of mind to our hearts. Where can you find true love and peace of mind? Within Mojo. Well, he does throw up a peace sign every once in a while. Come on, Mojo. No answer. Just a straw doll. Oh, he's not a candle. I thought he was a candlestick. I thought we were doing a Beauty and the Beast type of beat. Let us pray together, my brother. Oh my god. There's so much cult behavior in this game. I love it. <laughs> Hi. Can't comprehend my son anymore. He hasn't worked in years. There's a time when he had his heart set on becoming a man of the sea, just like his old man. But look at him now, praying to that silly looking doll day in, day and night. Day day and night. What has gotten into him? So you don't dabble in Komodo dragons anymore? You. You. Come here. Lena's sister. Oh, hi. Are you new here? <gasps> Lena? I think she's doing the pier babysitting. She should be on the pier. Are you a friend of Lena's? Oh, wait. Where are we? What is happening? Am I in another... This can't be another time. That explains the Komodo scale. Who are you? Wait. Show yourself. Reveal yourself. <gasps> it's a lady. It's a lady cook. Can I talk to her? No. Whoa, whoa. It's just a pot. What was it before? <laughs> Apparently I should have clicked around things a little bit more earlier. Okay, this girl hated it here. Hi there. I haven't seen you around here before. Are you from Termina? How's it going over there? I bet everyone's really excited about the Viper Festival. What? My poems? What are you talking about? I gave up on them ages ago. That's just a stupid dream I was obsessed with. I never did have any talent. But how did you know about that? Nobody knows about my poetry. It doesn't really matter anymore. I'm not writing poems or uh, or not. Nobody would give a hoot about someone writing poems in a tiny little cafe in the middle of nowhere. Oh, a tiny little cafe in the middle of nowhere, huh? But just remember, dreams do come true. Hmm. <laughs> Do you honestly believe that? We live in the middle of nowhere, in this tiny village leading small lives. Nothing's ever going to change, no matter how hard you try. It's just the reality of it all. Oh, Mr. Last Thing. Okay. Whoa, wait. That's not the same person, is it? Before it was Mina, and now... Are you thirsting after this person now? Humana, humana. What a hunk! <gasps> this is where Nikki from the Magical Dreamers... As luck would have it, Nikki is holding a concert in the port town of Termina. There's a heaven on earth. It pays, it pays to live in old age. Can't believe I'm actually going to be able to hear Nikki's beautiful voice. Oh. This year's Viper Festival is going to be some event. They're going to have a famous traveling band there. You have to see the poster over there. He's the lead guitarist and vocalist of the band. He dresses flamboyantly, but he drives the women mad, young and old. He puts an old powerful show too. Puts on a powerful show. Yo, stranger, have you heard anything about the group of thieves on the mainland? No, I haven't. You know, serious thieves, a bunch of houses in the mainland. They're cold blood bastards. Money or jewels. Even the powerful nation of poor can't seem to get a hold of them. Okay, so it's the same that, that, that they're referring to as well. I am in a different world. There's no fish! Where's your giant sawfish, Sky? Ugh, been able to 
hit a big one lately, you know? I'm not really concerned about the money or profit. I just have this urge for a challenge. Come on, baby. I know you're out there. I need some excitement. Give me a big catch. Have you heard anything about the El Nino Triangle down south? Everyone says it's really creepy over there. Some say you can hear strange voices. Some even claim to have seen a huge glowing egg down there at the bottom of the sea. I tell you, adults are so superstitious. They try to act all tough, but they kind of this kind of stuff scares them. Okay, I just want to check these last two places. Oh, this lady is gone. I assumed she was my mom before. But yeah, she's not here. Oh, <gasps> huh? Who the? What are you doing in my house? My house isn't a playground for you kids, all right? Go play outside. Oh, this is sad. Huh? Who? Marge? Who the heck's that? I've lived in this house for five years now. Sorry, name doesn't ring a bell. Whatever with all your gibberish, man. Just get out of here. Oh my god, this is scary now. Where's Marge? Is Lena even going to be the same Lena? Yeah, that's her. Hello, bucket hat. Oh, wait, are you a woman now? Greetings, Sunny. You're a new face in this village. A friend of Lena, perhaps? You'll find Lena on the pier, ba pier babysitting. Oh, brother. This is wild. So the ocean washed me away, and I saw a jaguar in my pre premonitions, and now I'm in a different world dimension. Where Lena is still a shitty babysitter. <laughs> Great, interesting. What? The tranquil sound of the waves does it to me every time. It makes me so sleepy. I bet the lullaby we heard in our mother's wombs was kind of like this. One day we will all return to the mother sea, embraced by her lullaby. Aww. Wait, you're a lot more positive than the other guy. He was kind of freaky. Hey. Who are you? Have you met somewhere before? Are you from Termina? Hey! Yeah, you! Don't be trying to pull any moves on Arlena, you jerk! Don't be silly! Don't go swimming out too far now, you hear? Okay, gotcha! Kids. I guess kids will be kids. Don't worry about them. Hmm, you know, you look a lot like a boy who used to live next door to me. Ooh. Was the music supposed to cut out there? That's scary. What was his name? Why? Why do you want to know his name? That boy died. He drowned when he was very young. This all happened ten years ago. Soon after his mother passed away too, I was still very young back then, so I don't remember too well, but his mom says his name was... <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. I'm Worm. Hmm? You're Worm? Stop that. That's not even funny. The boy is dead, don't you understand? That boy. I guess I kind of liked him. If that boy were still alive today, I wonder what would become of us. It sure is weird. Why am I opening up to you like this? Well, I guess there's no use thinking about the past. It's not like Worm is going to come back. Mom always used to tell me that I shouldn't dwell on the lost loved ones. You can find his grave on Cape Howell. Actually, why don't you go visit the gravesite? No one's been up there for a while. Well, I wish... I still have some chores to finish. Sorry I blew up at you like that. Goodbye, stranger. Okay, so... This is very interesting. So we got washed away, and I'm wondering now if in wherever we were before, that now they're wondering if I had died because I just disappeared. And it seems like this is going to be alternate universes jumping. But I am a little confused still because I think they kept asking if I'm ter from Termina, which is, I think that's where... Our first island was on was on Termina. So I don't know, maybe the worlds are a little different here. And there's like it's not obviously it's not a one-to-one because -one, what happens to Marge 
that she disappeared from this area. Or maybe like the reason she stayed on this island was because of a worm. I don't know, very interesting. I guess we'll go over to the... But I guess that means we're going over to the cemetery and then we'll probably run into someone there that might know a little bit what's going on. But I think we'll save that for next time. And yeah, well this this has already been a roller coaster. First of all, I didn't realize that we weren't going to be pixels <laughs> anymore. We went from pixels to polygons and I'm kind of like it so far. Like I, it's not as clunky as I would have expected it to be if I did know this would be more of the design. Um, and everyone is so cute. So I'm really excited to see everyone else. This could also possibly be because this is more of a remaster. I'm not sure what the original designs look like. Um, and also the battling. No idea what's going on, but I will figure it out before next time <laughs> and look up an instruction manual on how to fight. But like I said, we'll save that for next time and see what kind of battles we get into, see what's happened to Worm to get over here in the first place, and see what other characters we'll get hinted at next. Thank you again for joining as I'm experiencing Chrono Cross for the first time, and we'll see what happens in the next one.